wasn't today. Yeah, no kidding, oh, right? Goodness, yeah. What a great experience though for those folks to be able to see that, right? Really <laughs> excited about the sixth flight that the new group has done and, and they said they've been working on this for about a year and they can't wait. Oh, absolutely. Well, like you said, not great weather out there today. No. Tomorrow, also not great, right? But the weekend. The weekend looks fantastic. Hey. We can't get there fast enough, can we? We've got some evergreen more. statement, I think. We've but yes, especially this week. <laughs> yeah, there was a little underlying <laughs> message there. All right, take a look at Greensboro, where you can see the clouds from earlier today, the rain as well. And then we had some broken skies, at least a little glimmer of the sun late today. Now, tomorrow we're looking for weather impact in the morning and through about midday. And then we'll see also that rain kind of tapering off in the afternoon. So a wet morning commute for some, not a lot of rain like today probably less than a quarter of an inch in most communities. Thankfully, it's not a cold rain. The temperatures are in the 50s right now. We've got 58 in Greensboro High Point, as well as Moxville. We're at 55 in Mount Airy and 52 in Sparta. You see some of the higher rainfall totals around Mount Airy, just over a quarter of an inch, about two tenths of an inch in North Wilkesboro, and then yeah, just over a tenth of an inch or so across the triad. And we do still have a little bit of light rain that is moving through right now. So we're talking about Greensboro, also along 40 all the way out to Burlington and that's kind of lifting north. So some light to moderate rain. It'll be kind of spotty over the next several hours and then we'll wait for some of the steadier rains to move in tomorrow morning. And then this is the rain that will be moving our way by Thursday. You can see there are some flood concerns down there as well as severe uh, thunderstorms and tornado watches in that area too. So overnight I think it's pretty quiet. We've got a lot of clouds around tomorrow morning about 5, 6 a.m. We'll start to see some shadows hours scattered across the area that we scattered around through about 9 10 and I think even through lunchtime in parts of the Piedmont Triad we do still have some wet weather can't rule out a late day shower popping up I think that's still a possibility I just think most of the rain takes place before lunchtime high temperatures should get us into the 70s and where you land in the 70s depends on how much sun ekes through by late tomorrow afternoon so 50% coverage with impact in the morning tapering off in the afternoon that southwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles an hour should help those numbers get us into the 70s by late day. Of course, today was a home opener for Winston-Salem Dash and Greensboro Grasshoppers. Tomorrow will be day two. You've got a 7 o'clock first pitch, a spotty shower chance. Bring the rain gear always just in case when we're kind of in this unsettled weather pattern. But I do think fields should be pretty dry and conditions should be fairly nice and comfortable in the 60s. Now for the foothills, you've got that morning rain around in the afternoon. Small chance lingers partly to mostly cloudy skies in the mountains. We also have the rain early in the day, should get into the mid 60s, and we do have a small chance of rain. So rain and thunderstorms are gonna be with us. We've got that tomorrow, and then widespread rain kind of moves in on Thursday with that front, and then we could have some heavy rain on Thursday in spots, also some heavy downpours and storms. Some of those could become severe. So right now, tornado watch zone is over. Uh, Louisiana and that'll be moving to the east tomorrow and then we're looking for the focus of severe weather to be across eastern North and South Carolina on Thursday that sort of pushes pretty close to the Piedmont Triad and then the heavy rain threat is mainly over the mountains and foothills so rainfall totals could be close to two inches in some communities and we're going to watch where those storms develop on Thursday as we could have some isolated severe storms in our neck of the woods now behind that as Christine was saying, we've got some dry skies for Saturday and Sunday, and we've got a big warm up on the way into next week.